guys welcome back to Leila's home cooking on this episode I want to show you how I make my pechi pe ole to begin let's go through the ingredient we're gonna need some all-purpose flour some warm milk some vegetable oil or sunflower oil granulated sugar instant yeast and salt that's it I am using my stand mixer just to, to make life easy but you can do this by hand obviously so to my um, instant mixer bowl goes my milk pretty much everything my uh, sugar salt instant yeast my vegetable oil and my flour I'm gonna put my uh, dough hook and then uh, I'm gonna start uh, netting this on low and then I'm gonna move into uh, medium. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Let's get this out. My dough was netting for 10 minutes on uh, from low to medium and then medium to high add some little bit of dry flour to the counter and then now it's time to net the dough a little bit just two minutes not too much All right, to the same bowl, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil and then the dough gonna go in, in, making sure that the dough has oil all around so it doesn't get a crusty uh, texture on top while we are waiting for this to rise. Now this is going to go to cover and go in a warm place. And then uh, we are waiting for, we're gonna wait for this to get rice for about 45 minutes to an hour and then we will move forward. It's been exactly one hour and my dough has been risen properly. Check this. See that? Now I wanna drop a little bit of dry flour on my counter. And then I'm gonna start dividing the the dough into my small bun. Add a little bit dry flour on top as well. And then uh, I want to divide this. Now, if you want to make this a little bit uh, very small, you can do eight equal pieces. So you're going to get eight equal bun. I think I'm going to make six. So I want to make six equal I want to cut this into six equal pieces just like so and cut this one as well into three and now if the size is not perfect that's fine because I'm not a person that gonna go and uh, weigh the dough if you want to do that you can definitely weigh the dough and make them into very equal pieces so now, you, first thing you're gonna do is round the, the dough, just like that. And then, start folding them into side, just like that, and then roll. And then press the edges. Just like so. Here we have one bun, and uh, I have a tray lined with parchment paper, and then I have an egg wash. This is just one egg beat with a little bit of water and some sesame seeds just to top it with. Let me do one more. Flatten the dough into a little bit round side, round size. And then put takes the rough side and then start folding just like that and then just roll 
when you're rolling make sure you pointed these two side as well and then the middle part you're gonna pinch them together just like so all right okay so let me keep doing this and then we'll move forward now take a knife and then cut them into three time deeply make sure you put the knife very deeply inside brush with egg wash spread some sesame seeds And now this is going to go in my preheated oven of 425 degree. It's gonna stay inside and bake for about 25 minutes or until completely done. Whenever the crusty uh, top bread is golden brown, then you know your bread is ready. So let's be, let's go and let's go ahead and put this in the oven, and then I will show you when it's done. My peche peole was in the oven for 20 minutes and this is how it looks like. Nice and golden brown in color and the sesame seeds and the way I cut them, they look absolutely gorgeous and absolutely perfect and uh, it is really hot, piping hot. I want to break this and actually break this and show you on the inside this is the absolutely absolutely uh perfect for anything um your guest is coming just go ahead and make this everybody gonna be happy for the full written recipe you know where to go click the link down below if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i will see you next time bye